Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some more Orzhov midrange. We played this deck on Thursday, the first day with War of the Spark out, and had a lot of success with it. And so we're changing up a couple of things because, you know, we're still trying a lot of cards, but we're getting back at it. So the main thing that this deck is doing is basically attacking. We have aggressively slanted two drops with Adanto Vanguard and Dreadhorde Invasion that's backed up by one of the best cards from War of the Spark, Gideon Blackblade. So it's just one of our best cards in our deck. It's the card that we want to try to curve into a lot. And this card's just awesome. And so like that's what this deck's kind of built around is, is Gideon Blackblade. Uh, we also have, of course, History Banali as our other aggressive three drop. Uh, so we're trying to curve out uh, with those things. So um, with this deck, we kind of want to play against like the more removal heavy decks, the control decks. That's where we get to just be on the aggressive and attack. That's that's where our deck's at its best. Playing against a deck like um, Mono White Aggro could just go really big, really wide, and the, and uh, and you know we can't really be as aggressive there. So that's not a, a deck that we want to face. Um, but then we also have uh, our four drops, a Johnny and a Soren, that do a good job of uh, supporting our two and three mana creatures. Soren can give all of our stuff lifelink to help us win races. So if we do find ourselves in one of those races, we can have the Sorens to help us win them. <clears throat> and also Soren giving our creatures lifelink gives Midnight Reaper lifelink. So whenever um, we draw cards from Midnight Reaper, we don't actually take damage because we'll take a damage, but it'll be one lifelink damage. So it doesn't change our life total. So Midnight Reaper works really well with Soren. Um, <clears throat> and that's what we got. So we have just a kind of a spattering of removal spells in here also. Um, another new card that we did actually play Oketra last time. So this is going to be our first time playing God Eternal Oketra. We didn't play this on Thursday. We'll see um, how it how it does for us. Um, so yeah, kind of excited to try it out. What does a Johnny do? A Johnny, we can put counters on our creatures, including Gideon. You can put a counter on Gideon to make Gideon bigger or any of our other things. Um, it's that's nice with Dreadhorde Invasion, trying to get Dreadhorde Invasion up to that six power faster for the Life Link. Um, and then we can also minus and put a Danto Vanguard or Tithe Taker back into play if we need to do that. Uh, so yeah, that's that's kind of our deck. Here we're, we're trying to dispark in the main deck. We have a whole bunch of like little one-ofs in our sideboard that can be good in various matchups that, you know, depending on like what we need, uh, we can really tailor our deck there. Let's see how it goes. So Orzov midrange. Resplendent Angel it works really well with Soren, but it's not better than our other three drops. And our our curve has a ton of three drops already. Yeah, the Esper Hero played pretty well for us. Uh, we played that one with that being a donation deck. We played that in like the the normal uh, a normal league there, uh, not in the ranked matches. Um, but yeah, it played really well. We like uh, Liliana was awesome in the deck. So was Time Wipe. Um, Tyrant Scorn did a good did good things in the deck too. Hey, Mister Previously. Ugh. Yuck. Why do we gotta face Model White? The Reapers are just so good against control decks. And, oh, it's not Mono White. So Gideon uh, can work pretty well with a Danto Vanguard of like giving a Danto Vanguard uh, lifelink. So definitely was considering playing Gideon here, giving a Danto Vanguard lifelink and attacking in. But then I just thought that it would be too easy for our opponents to just take it and kill the Gideon at uh, five loyalty. Orzov's your favorite guild? Awesome.
All right, we'll draw our card. Getting the YouTube stuff ready to go there. Alright, taking some damage. So sad, but I guess I'm playing defense. Missed Grixis. We started off really well with Grixis. We started off 4-0 and then lost our last three. Wait. Oh, I just clicked that way too many times. Uh, I definitely wanted to block, of course. Well. Expecting them to have like a bunch of pump spells in hand. They get past blockers pretty easily. And that's kind of all we have are blockers. Yeah, we didn't block. Oh well. I am here to aid in the assault. All right, let's give this knight life life link, where we can attack for two life link, gain two. Uh, it Share has vigilance. My light. So we still have good defense. All things con considered. Which decks do we see the most in ranked? Probably, uh, like, uh, Esper, Grixis, Mono White are the first three that come to mind. Why not Mortify Legionnaire? Because it's likely our opponent has a, a spell to protect Legionnaire. So it should be Colossus, which will kill Gideon and Adanto Vanguard, but it gets that out of their hand. That's not, even though that's killing Gideon, that's, you know, eight damage that's not coming in at me. So I'm very happy about that. Bravery wasn't enough. I'm just going to go double Tithe Taker this turn. No attacks. No attacks. Hey, 
Hey, prep coin, getting that sub. Thanks, Santa Noxy. Together, we are unstoppable. Hope you enjoy the emotes, prep coin. That is sub number 16 on the day. See in yourself what I see in you. I would still like to draw fifth land where we could have like the death touch for Sarah for the scales available after we play it on like a 10th district legionnaire. Yep, creatures are spells. Oh no. I am proud to fight by your side. You are capable of more than you Ruh -ruh. assume. I will lend you my strength. Hey, Adriel. Yeah, 2.1 thousand viewers. Welcome, everybody. Feather. That's a flyer. So we'll be mortifying that angel so our angel can get through. Look how far you have come. All right, this is not a bad. This is not too bad of an attack for us. So I'm going to trade the tithe takers for those tokens, so that I get flyers. Dang, I was hoping they were going to attack with the legionnaire. Not okay. All right, so we're going to mortify feather, get some vigilance. Do I get that Mortify back in my hand now? Is that how that card works? Be strong. We still have three blockers I am sorry. Uh, to help protect a Johnny. So they have to like, you know, send a bunch of things out of Johnny. Oh, that's not how that works? I don't get to pick up my Mortify? Man. I didn't really think we were winning that game. How we were stuck on lands there. But then we kind of did win. So let's grab Settle, Cast Down. Feather is legendary. Hmm. I don't love Adanto Vanguard, Midnight Reaper, Dreadhorde Invasion, Gideon Blackblade, Johnny or Soren. Hey Mike, yeah. It's been a, a real good Sunday here.
Hey, QQ. Thank you. Is there an extra ten bonus 10% thing? Thanks, QQ. So if you do bleed purple with a cheer, you get a bonus 10%. Nice. Abzan Aristocrats? What are you using the green for? I'm not I'm not sure why the green would be better than uh Dreadhorde Butcher and Judith in red. Cool. Well, thanks, QQ. This is not really a hand that plays any defense <laughs> against a feather deck, but oh well. Yeah, I mean, if, if you get to cast 4BB Liliana, she's really good. But this deck's kind of more focused on the first, you know, two, three, four turns. Trying to curve out and and 4BB uh, Liliana doesn't really help you do that. She costs a lot of mana. Green would be for Poison Tip Archer at four mana. Yeah, I don't think I'd like, I don't think I'd prefer that over... The alternatives. We're playing red. We don't know if London Mulligan Rule will come to Arena. Maybe, maybe not. We don't know. Yeah, Dark Cloudy, it's okay. The Arcanist. Well, these these cards aren't as good if they don't have. Does that thing have like first strike or something? Okay, no, it doesn't. Good. They don't have any spells. Yeah, you could play if you. You could play a Resplendent Angel instead of Benalia. Our kinship ensures you need to our replace Benalia. Strength is born of struggle. Or you could just play some more Mortify and Oath of Kaya. Like some more removal. You do that as well. Dreadhorde Invasion. Probably work. Deliver us to victory. A uh, good chance that. Never mind. I say good chance that my opponent does not attack into the settle, but never mind they did. So I still need another land because I have to play Dawnbringer this turn to attack the Ajani. Oh wait, Soren can deal damage to Ajani. Yeah. Yeah. My heart is one damage. Scored for you. I will take that. Feed the strong. Because they lava coiled our thing, so we don't have things to get back. You can still fight. Yeah, Bant Legends is, is really I sweet. Um, we we went two two with it, which you know isn't like the best or anything, but it's not that's not bad, and I like that deck quite a bit. Cease this. Yeah, I'll, I'll be making a, a viable zombie deck. 
Um, you know, I liked I played Mono Black Zombies last format, and this gives us a lot. We had a donation to make a Rakdos Destroy. Zombies. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with the red in Rakdos. Rude. Still rude. Three lava coils. Yuck. End this insolence. This is kind of embarrassing just having these Ajani's. Stand together. I will lend you my strength. Are you finished? <laughs> and Johnny's what and Soren's and nothing to do. This is embarrassing. Strength is born of struggle. <sighs> How predictable. That card's good. Vamp Lash out all you want. Trait. So we only have lifelink on our turn. What I see. Unfortunately. Yeah, I think we would have died if our if the legionnaire just would have hit us the three times. I think, or maybe not, because it dealt two, then three, then four. Hey, Macron. Okay, you got a Nissa deck donation coming. Awesome. Thanks, Macron. And yeah, I'll be I'll be working on your deck tomorrow. Your your other uh Selesnia deck or Abzan. Yeah. No. Esper. It was Esper. Esper zombies. Is there a broken Nissa deck proliferate deck? Probably not. Look how far you have come. Yeah, Esper. Cool. Thanks, Macron. I could see the opponent not attacking here if they want to make sure they can flip Legion's Landing the next turn. Death touch. I'm becoming irritated. You are capable of more than you assume. Yeah, our opponent is not killing us. Very well. I abhor my need. Farewell. I was definitely considering playing like a new Soren, getting back Seraph. I, I just don't think we need to do that. Kind of the onus is on our opponent to hit our Soren here. Hey, JS. Yeah, I've. Definitely had uh, people be asking about the, you know, asking to play more ranked and stuff. All right, so they're going both at Soren. I kind of want to let Soren die, but the reason why blocking is good is because it hurts their chances of flipping Legion's Landing. The reason why blocking is bad is because the next turn we could make these both 3-3s. Three Three oh yeah, the opponent has a quest to kill a bunch of Planeswalkers. Um, 
I'll go with the trade. And try to keep them off of flipping this Legion's Landing. We all make sacrifices. The same thing, still trade. Deliver us to victory. We only drew that one creature, the one Seraph of the Scales. To go, go with... Without me. Those two, the Ajani and Soren, but Ajani and Soren just did so much with our opponent just like never attacking us and... They did their job. Time for a drink. No friend to be strong. Dun, 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 dun. We're gonna get lava coiled. Ooh, reckless rage. Well, now it's kind of difficult for our opponent to attack with the 10th Street, 10th District Legionnaire because it's a 5-3, and so we get to actually trade with it. I've seen these tricks before. Hmm. All right, picked up the win. <laughs> Move up 400 spots. Man, these rankings. You win, you move up 400 spots. You lose, you go down 400 spots. Must be a whole lot of people that are really close. Yeah, the spirits still have the floating animation. Yeah. Yeah, I don't understand the rankings. Ooh. This looks pretty sweet. Do we get to be on the play? Uh, never lucky. Never lucky. Yeah, next time we play aggro, we just have to play a random planeswalker and keep ticking it up and just have it get attacked the whole time. This Bant Nexus. What's faster clock? A Danto Vanguard or Dreadhorde Invasion? Which card's the faster clock to play? So this would be, you know, 3, 6, 9, 12, or the other one is 0, 1, 3. All right, Dreadhorn Invasion takes forever. It'd be 0, 1, 3, 6. So after four turns... Vanguard would deal 12, Invasion would deal 6. Glad we have this Dispark in the main deck.
No more. No more reclamations. You can't have two. You only get the one. Yeah, you only get the one. No. No, they had two. Ugh. Said you get one. Bless us in our righteous cause. All right, we'll just pick one of these at random because it doesn't matter. Um, uh, won't even look. Which one do we give? I don't even know. We'll see. Not vigilance. Are we gonna gain life? Hey, we gained life. All right, I guess we gave life link. You got three of them. Alright, so they just have omniscience. Four mana omniscience. All of your cards, all your spells cost zero. Because you have so much mana. Yep, that thing costs zero. Omniscience wasn't strong enough at 10 mana, Hawkeye. Okay. We need to print it at 4 mana. Alright, random. Your light will cleave the darkness. I did lifelink last time. We'll do another one. We'll do indestructible. That's gotta be the worst choice. Alright, draw land. They drew a land. Good job, Hawkeye. Came up here and helped us out. E. So I like Gideon here. I want the I want the extra Gideon because I like the the minus six exile target permanent, and it's also a, a pretty fast clock. Um, cast down doesn't matter. Dreadhorde invasion super slow. But let's see if there's other cards to take out. A Johnny, Soren, and Oketra don't seem like they matter too much, especially Soren. Really, really slow. I mean, Midnight Reaper is slow. But alright, which which three of these cards are the slowest? Midnight Reaper, a Johnny, or Oketra? Oketra. And then Midnight Reaper. And then one of Johnny. Is Reaper better than Seraph for the scales? Yeah, the Dreadhorde invasions are definitely really slow, but at least we play them on turn two, you know, so I like them more because we get to play them on turn two than like these things that cost so much more mana. But no, I, I know Dreadhorde invasion is not very good. I guess they get better together. Or they just don't get worse. <laughs> we need pilfering imp. Instead of duress. I would like to take Search for Escanta, thank you. Even look at the rest of their hand. They're playing Settle the Wreckage. That's rude.
Hey, Yager, gifting out some subs. Y'all get some hype votes in the chat. And if you are a new subscriber, thanks to Yager, hope you enjoy your emotes. And get those out there also. So we have Pancake Shake. That's a cool name. Lore Wind. That's another good one. Fro the Style. And y'all are crushing it with these names today. Uh, Dr. Pepper, 21 flavors. And Shrek. All join the channel. Welcome, y'all. Uh, Growth Spiral? All right, so that gets us to uh, 21 subs on the day. And we defeated the Wilderness Reclamation deck. They just had all lands the first game, no lands the second game. Made it kind of easy for us. So again, to that goal, I will be cracking up in another pack. Let's see what we get. Let's see if we get a Mythic. We haven't opened up a War of the Spark Mythic with these packs yet. I battle for the forces of good. It's a Karn. Karn's basically a Mythic. <laughs> yeah, Dr. 21 Pepper. 21. First sub of the day. Alright. Let's keep it going. The new set is awesome. So many good cards. Power level is like pretty even among like just so many things that are, are good and fun to play. So, um, you know, just ex excited to keep playing it. Wow, Trig, you got two mythics out of your two packs? Lucky. The red one. Welcome to the channel. Keeping that hype going? Uh, yeah, we're gonna draw a land. We're getting all this sub luck. We're drawing a land. Yeah, we're drawing that land for sure. 22. One one of the subs was counted twice. That's why it says like the storm count 23. That was 22. One got counted twice. Hmm. Thanks, Brezzy. Yeah, Hawkeye, okay. I was expecting to draw a black source too. Okay. We're doing it. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, Soren's good. Soren is going to be able to return the Midnight Reaper back to the battlefield, which is pretty cool. Later. Dude, exclamation point deck list. Oh, Gideon is awesome. Yeah, I love Gideon. <clears throat> Don't want my Gideon getting countered there. But yeah, Gideon's awesome. I'm hoping no exile removal spell on the Seraph. If they just kill it with, you know, like a cast down or whatever, we can grab Seraph back with Soren. So we need we need Seraph to try to deal with this Nicobolus. So Slasher says they have three war draft codes. 
And so whoever gives the best MTG standard pun, any pun about standard stuff, you can get a, a free code. Oh, minus, minus, <laughs> minus. My army will envelop this world. Lame. <laughs> Rise. <laughs> Not attacking with the 4 3 because I don't want them to draw cards with the Liliana. Ugh. I hope you washed your hands first. <sighs> Death won't conquer me so easily. Problem is, they get to flip bullets this next turn. Don't kill my Seraph. No. All right, we need to draw Mortify. We need to kill this Bolus. Mortify. Ugh. That was not Mortify. No land, no land, no land. Pass turn. Now we're dead. Because <clears throat> here comes back Liliana. The dead shall serve me. I do hope you make this battle exciting for me. It's putrid, but effective. And we can't beat Liliana. Just drawing, just drawing so many cards. We can banish evil from this plane. Prepare for battle. Hmm. I know what must be done. Why not just get Midnight Reaper there with the Soren? Because like I think toy. I want Gideon out right away to try to get you know, like I don't know, move Gideon up towards six loyalty to. I believe in you. Gideon is not a knight. Does not get the the pump from I will make you suffer. History Benalia. They were a lousy servant anyway. Not again. Ugh, nickel ball is really good. All right, better removal. Get a tight thinker back in here. This is 64. Soren hasn't looked like super impressive for us. Ugh. 
<laughs> it's tough playing against control. <clears throat> it's not easy. Um... <clears throat> no, Soren, Soren gets Midnight Reaper back as well with the minus. It can get back Vanguard, Tithe Taker, or Midnight Reaper. Maybe I'm just not playing the Duresses. Yeah, yeah I mean, Oketra's fine, but... <clears throat> I guess I'm just not playing Duress, then. It was either that or... It's like, play the three Duress, or cut the two Ajani's and the Oketra and play... And play the Duresses, or... You know, like, it's... It's one of those... Like, those are my options. Either play Ajani, Ajani, Oketra, or play Duress, Duress, Duress. All right, can we draw a couple lands? We are a 25 land deck. We haven't, I don't know, we've had a lot of not very many lands in our hand kind of things. And so might as well play the Ajani's and the Oketra, like cards that like require big time answers to them. Instead of like the duress that may take a, a big time answer. make our deck a little bit, or make our, you know, we'll try to be a little bit better against, like, a Cry of the Carnarium here. Because how they took Seraph without us having lands is definitely, or it seems like a signal towards Cry. I'm getting the invasion in play. If they Cry here, they get, you know, one half of the history. What? It's a three mana card that can only kill a 1 1 token and doesn't do anything else? Doesn't seem like a very good card. Alright, so they get all, all this stuff. Or is this a set? They're targeting three things, but it says X equals two. Oh, with toughness two or less. Oh, right, gotcha. Okay, well, that card is a little better. It's a ritual of Sit. We were not going to be casting the Dispark before damage. We were going to just be, you know, we had lethal on the battlefield. We were just going to be attacking. Mm -hmm. 
think it's the most people we've ever had in here. I don't think I've had 2,500 people in here before. So thank you all very much. Welcome to the channel. Hope you all are enjoying War of the Spark standard so far. Yeah, I would I would rather play Cry in Ritual of Soots over that finale of whatever the last name of that one is. Thanks, Kirksis. Yeah, the decks that run Thieva Sanity, we uh, the last deck that we just played that Grixis Control V2 plays Thieva Sanity. Speaking of that, that's ready to go up on YouTube if I start clicking some buttons and actually upload it. One second. All right, it is. All right, that one's up on YouTube now. <clears throat> All right, pretty, pretty decent looking hand. Get this invasion out here. Hey, Night Wolf. Yeah, those those weird words, Grixis, Asper, those kind of words, those are referring to the. Uh, Those are referring to the color combination that you're playing. This is Orzov because it's white and black. Esper is white, black, plus blue. Grixis is blue, black, plus red. Yeah, I really like... Gruel, yeah, I've tested Gruel decks. We're going to be playing this Gruel mid range here in a little bit that we play that I've played a little bit, and I I really like it. It's probably my favorite deck in standard format so far. Favorite control deck was the one we were just playing, the Grixis control. That we just got done playing. They kept both surveils. They've kept on top. Hmm. So there's a midnight reaper they can grab right now. So basically, if they have <clears throat> the problem with playing history and holding up to spark, because I want to get rid of, I want to be able to spark bolus or I guess hostage shaker now. But if they would have had a bolus, and I, I would have had to discard the seraph, and I'd rather just discard the history. Yeah, raise Boar Rona's combo. Yeah, that is that is such a combo. All right, so we have a good battlefield here, but opponent still has three cards. No, another hostage sticker. That's not good. Mm -hmm. 
They can give Seraph Death Touch. Not Vigilance, though. The problem with playing a Johnny pre-combat is that my opponent knows that they know about it. In the... I understand you are in need of support. In the let's attack that with Seraph, let's not block with Seraph and attack that and kill that kind of way. Strength is born of struggle. I want to wait until next turn and have this 6-6 six, six be lifelink. I don't know if that's worth it or not. <clears throat> that's kind of my goal here. Drawn another two cards. Ugh, so many cards. So likely that we're dead. So likely that we're dead. Maybe they have five lands. You never know. Rude. Capable of more than you assume. All right, we're not dead yet. They still have three cards. And uh, Guildgate. It's not a card we needed. I would have preferred a give me back my Sarah for the scales, please. Card instead. <laughs> Dread Horde, time for Dread Horde Invasion to start over. Ugh. Your corpse will make an excellent minion. Smelly, Just can't beat that card. Effective. I will not back down. Okay. We can maybe beat that card. I walk a righteous path. I will lend you my strength. I will lend you my strength. Yeah, we could give the 1-1 counters to Gideon, yep. I mean, Gideon's a creature. So yeah, you, we could tick up a Johnny and give the counter to Gideon. Death. Like, Liliana's just drawing infinite cards. Like, how do we how do we beat that? We can't get through. Ugh. Let's just 
Just infinite cards. Yeah, we have to draw a Dispark for Contempt. <laughs> Good help is easy to find. That's basically our out here. I gotta get rid of that thing too. Yeah, I gotta get rid of that thing. I will not be moved. Look how far you have come. I believe in you, friend. Back off! Waste not. I'll find a use for you later. Yeah, drawing land's not gonna do it. The hostage taker take my Sarah for the scales was the real turning point. The second one, you know, we disparked the first one. I wonder if we need like four disparks in this deck. I mean, we definitely want to, I mean, dispark is awesome in this matchup. It's great against Wilderness Reclamation. I wonder if we should have four disparks in here. All right, whatever, man. We need to sit there and wait for a while for them to decide what to do. We're really dead. Move on with my life. Go to the next game. So right now we have three Disparks in here. No, that's probably fine. I don't know if I had all my Mortifies in, which I probably should have had all my Mortifies. We didn't see... Hostage Taker, and we didn't see Thief of Sanity from them at all. Like we, the only creature we really saw was Nickel Bolas. It's obviously Augur Bolas. I don't care about. But I don't. It's possible I didn't have all of my Mortifies in, and maybe I should have. Yeah, I'm. I'm kind of thinking that maybe we want our own Liliana. I had a Liliana in the sideboard previously, but maybe Liliana is better than Oketra. Or like, yeah, one in the sideboard. I had one in there. I've had one in there before, but we just never, never drew it. Never really played it. We just have a lot of, you know, like two landers and stuff, and just like actually having six lands for Liliana can be tough. Basically need to draw it. Like we need to like top deck Liliana in the late game, because having it in our early hand isn't going to help us, and it'll just get Thought Erasured away or anything like that. So it's basically just like a, a card that would be an amazing top deck. Our chance of winning this. Not very high. Hero Precinct 1 is going to be a difficult card for us to get through.
Maybe settle. I don't love it. Her deck is not good from playing from behind. If we get behind. They have a ton of ways just as that they'll be able to destroy Dreadhorde Invasion. Like their whole deck's like Mortifies and you know, Little Vraska and all that kind of stuff. Uh, they do have a, a ton of, you know, like Seraph of the Scales is a big part of their deck. And Vraska, Vivian. I, I want these Disparks. Okay, we get Gideon on curve. That's our best thing we can always do. Thanks, J Jack. Um, I with for today. I just uh, yeah, let's go Vanguard. I, I'm not feeling like donation decks today. Sorry, I'm just going with the ranked. Um. Especially with all how we got everybody in here and everything watching the ranked matches. I'm sorry, J-Jack. Tomorrow I am planning on doing an all donation deck day. My light. Have a good amount of donation decks to cover. Yeah, this is an all-time record. I've never broken two and a half thousand. Have you sent me your deck yet, J Jack? I don't have it. Prepare I don't have battle. it like written down. If you do, if you have. No, I would not play the O3 that puts a land into play or Augur Bolas in Team of Wreck. Maybe Augur Bolas. I would definitely not play the O3. Augur Bolas is could be reasonable um you know i'm not sure what what the alternatives are and everything but don't play the o3 oh yeah oh he, is this no that was old All right, so there's a Hero Precinct one. Let's keep giving Vanguard lifelink. Your light will cleave the darkness. It's just a really good combination of like basically making a Danto Vanguard impossible to block. If I yes, I could give Indestructible on. Yes, I so if I give Indestructible on a Danto Vanguard. You know, I'm technically saving one life, right? It, like, but that's also assuming they block. They could also just not block, and then I don't gain that life. So, like, giving them the life link, while it does cost me one life, I think that's a very fair trade off of them blocking. You know, if they if they just don't block, then I, you know, just didn't gain that life. All right, on the draw. Yes, 
Yeah, I think the yeah, I I agree. The the O three is really could be really good in a, a Vanifar um deck. Yeah. So demise and settle on the draw. And I think a Johnny or Soren. Maybe one of those two out. Maybe Soren. I guess Soren. I should probably get this fourth Gideon in here. It's just kind of like our best card. But it is a lot better on the play. I should have put it in on the play at least. Tonto Vanguard. Let's move away from Vanguard on the draw actually. All right. You opened three Gideons yesterday? Wow. Ugh. They're on six cards. Now nah, just Morgan. Ugh. Ugh. Just have the first one back. We got a tight taker battle here. Tithe taker battle. <clears throat> the cell of the wreckage looks great against these two tithe takers. I like Angrass Rampage. I think it's pretty solid. I've been happy with the card. Ugh. Feels bad. Feels even worse. At least this bark is great. Necromancer has a nice ring to it. What a good mindless minion. The Dread Horde General. <laughs> it looks pretty over. Uh, get out of my way! That was the easiest. Liliana to cast I've learned of all time. They were a lousy <laughs> servant anyway. 
I did not start this fight, but I will finish it. I demand servitude. Well, you're not going to get it. All right, two and two. You definitely lose more ranking when you lose than you get if you win. We're down a few hundred spots after going two and two here, and then also like with the four and three, we didn't go up any. Hmm. All right, so we should probably have Liliana in here. All right, that looks better. All right, just take the Oketra out, uh, put a third invasion in the main instead of the Oketra, and have a Liliana in the board. Yeah, we've played a couple bigger mid-range decks that go over the top of us. That's what's happened the last couple of rounds there. I'm gonna update the deck list command with those changes. Gilgate. All right, Liliana Dreadhorde General, that one. Not sure if I want Tithe Taker or Dreadhorde General. I guess I guess the or Dreadhorde Invasion. I guess the Invasion. The best decks I've tried so far. Um, I really like my the deck I like the most that we've played so far is the the Gruel mid range that we're gonna play last tonight. Let me lead the charge into darkness. I believe in you. No, not the dinosaur one. No. Uh, girl midrange, we played it on Thursday also. Uh, has Ronus and Ilharg in it. Gideon is probably incredible against Gates. That's got to be a difficult card for them to deal with. And so I wanted to play the Gideon immediately, too, to get it up, to try to get it to, like, 7 loyalty right away, where we can, like, minus 6 it. Good job, Pasticus. You went 7-1 and sealed. Way to go. I have not tried a Bant Flash deck in Standard yet. That's that's what I'm interested in trying out. Um, I think... I mean, I love the new Vivian. I think the new Vivian is awesome. That card has been really impressive. Um, I have a, two of them in the Gruul midrange sideboard. Um, but yeah, I could definitely see building a Bant Flash deck around... Like, with a new Vivian in it. There are just so many cool decks to play. There's, like... This set is awesome. There's just so many good cards to build around and everything. I will lend you my strength. There's just not a reason to play that Tithe Taker there. I should I should just not play that Tithe Taker. It's going to turn into a 1-1 token that gets to attack next turn. So I guess, I mean, that's the reason to play it. But I, I assume this is Gates of Blaze. I 
I have not found a, an Oketra shell yet. I think Oketra works the best with blue. And honestly, it could be like that band... Or sorry, not blue. Uh, green. I think it works the best with green. Where green can... Alright, well, good thing I, I am now glad I played that Tithe Taker out there. Last turn, so we have two two attackers here. Yeah, it works best with green, where you know green has good good creatures that also like produce mana to get it out a little earlier, so you can get it out before your hand is empty, kind of thing. Give me this other Gideon, get these dresses. Uh, cast down for a ram. Mortify. Contempt. Uthakaya out. Hmm. Everything's really reasonable. I don't really see anything in this deck that's bad necessarily. Yeah, maybe like an Oketra Naya deck. Okay. Nah, that card's slow. Okay. <laughs> Tarzan of the Jungle. Cool name. Look at all those awesome Orzhov cards that are going to be reshuffled into our deck. I would like to keep shuffling. And to try again. I mean, Midnight Reaper would fit our curve really well after a Danto Vanguard. But just it's kind of risky keeping that without having land. You, you will be able to transform the Escanta, yes. It will not go back to your opponent. It goes back to your opponent whenever the card reads. Um, you exile it and then return it transformed. And that's what Nicol Bolas does. Muggle with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel, Bearded Muggle. Bearded Muggle. All right, everybody, get your hype boats out there. Thank you so much. We're not really going wide enough to flip Legion's Landing consistently, which is why we don't have it in here. Circuitous Route was the best card in their hand by a long way. Circuitous Route is really powerful. And I wanted to get that out of there. Don't want them to get you know, double rampant growth. Just better than a draw two. It's draw two plus put two lands into play, basically. Their other cards have much less impact than Securitas Route does.
guild summit. All right, draw our land. Get to play a Johnny here. Get to resolve this a Johnny. Ugh. Johnny would have been so perfect. Gross. Just turns on their deck, just gives them so much mana to be able to cast all their stuff. And then obviously with Guild Summit, it's even better. Yeah, we we need our fourth land in our in our deck. I mean, I tried. I scried a Midnight Reaper to the bottom. I was trying. Do they have like spell pierce or something? Yeah, do we need to go to 26 lands? Jeez, you think 25 would be enough to get to four? I should have just gone to combat first anyway. This is what Securitas route enables. Yeah, we have the cast downs for rams. They frequently have rams post board. Anticipate is an instant where Shimmer the possibility is not. So I guess with Wellness Reclamation, they liked the the instant of Anticipate over Shimmer. The worst part about Adanto Vanguard is you have to click OK to literally every single thing. Even when you're like trying to auto pass, you still have to have hit Resolve to everything. I wish like auto pass actually did auto pass and not like hey auto pass. Until the next thing. All right. Well, this is, you know, obviously a much more spell-heavy deck. Let's get that duress in. Um, do I want these, disparks for reclamation? See, I kind of assume that they're gonna switch their t deck up now that I saw that stuff, and like now they're gonna have like all these rams in and stuff. I don't know, I like these cards. Our opponent was taking the rest of the turns, or gonna be close to it. The game was going to, like, we were going to lose the game. It was going to take another 10 minutes of clicking. I don't want to do 10 minutes of clicking. I'm just, I don't want to do 10 minutes of watching my opponent play.
Yeah, Elf Skull, the... Uh, uh, the Grixis control that we just got done playing is a, is a, is a different version of Grixis. It's not, it's not exactly like the Grixis discard. Uh, the very first day on Thursday, we played a version of the, just like the Grixis discard. Didn't do too well with it, but we played, but played a version, an updated version of it. Uh, you can check that out on the YouTube channel, you know, look for, it was labeled, I labeled it as Grixis controls from Thursday, not Grixis control V2 version two. Yeah, the next chat challenge, I think we're going to do that on Saturday. That's Usually people like doing it on the weekends more. Um, so I'm thinking Saturday, our next challenge. We've hit enough sub goals for it. So yeah, I think Saturday I'll just play against subscribers here on in stream. That should give people enough time to like kind of make, you know, make decks and everything and, and have their deck, um, I believe. I don't know, what, what do y'all think? Does that work for you, for for uh, the subscribers here to p play our sub-battle challenge on Saturday? Sub-battle Saturday? It is good to see you, my friend. See it yourself. What I All right, see. we have too many lands now. Should have played this last turn. Deliver us to victory. I should have played that mobilized district last turn. So I could have attacked with it. Could have put them down to one. It is like we still have like lethal with the mobilized district next turn because it's a three three that we get to pump up to be a four four, um, and gates of blaze doesn't really save them either because we get the one token also. I will not be Horatio. We don't need to put a counter on the district yet. Capable of more than you assume. Okay. Three and two. That's what this deck's trying to do. Just win quickly. Win the early game. And that's why we have that one mobilized district in there for whenever our opponent stabilizes at four. Just like that. Our mobilized district gets them. <laughs> we hit them with the land. <laughs> All right, we got other decks to get to tonight, so we'll. Well, I guess maybe this won't be our last one. If we lose this, if we lose this, we'll play one more to to break the tie. Hopefully, we don't lose it. Hopefully, we just if we win, we'll stop here at four two. Red deck. I haven't seen a red deck in a while. Oh no, Gruel. But Gruel's good. So yeah, Black Blade, we play that, they just get to attack Black Blade. Not the best for us. This is my my uh, playlist. Yeah, you can find it on Spotify right here.
That would have just killed Gijin. All right, no more lands. We're, we're back done. We're done with not playing 26 lands anymore. No more 26 land deck. No, I don't. I don't play Reclamation myself. I've never played Reclamation. Don't ever plan on playing it. Don't like supporting that huge mistake of a card. Woya. All right, so let's give this knight, this 4-3 knight, lifelink. No. Ooh. Hmm. You do not have to fight alone. See in yourself what I see in you. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to protect my Planeswalkers. I'm just going to have this be a race. You have not killed me yet. Gideon is not very good against you know opposing creatures like when it, when you're like behind on the battlefield. No, but Gideon's just really great against control decks and. Decks that are not playing very many creatures. I wish you only the best. Or like, you know, when you play it on turn three and you're out ahead on an empty board. That's where that's where Gideon's fantastic. I have not made uh, Selesnya tokens yet, but I have a donation. That's one of the donation decks. It's on my list to play. There's a Selesnya tokens deck with new Ajani. So yeah, we'll be playing that one pretty soon. Gideon Jura, at your service. And share in my light. It does look pretty nice. There's a single card that's a problem with Nexus Reclamation decks. It's Search for Escanta. No, I mean it's it's Wilderness Reclamation. That's the that's the card that's the problem. Basically, every design mistake in Magic has been based around I can take a hit the ability two. to have a vast amount of mana more than you're supposed to have at any time. I used to get a, get around the the mana system. Do not frighten me. Yeah, cheating out powerful spells like Ulamog from I mean that's yeah, like same yeah, that, that's the same thing with um Etherworks Marvel. I mean it lets you cast ten drops. I mean it it just got around the mana system. It's the same kind of thing. Prepare for battle. Steamkin is just a a lot smaller on that kind of you know, it's it's a lot smaller on that on that scale. I am not quite indestructible. Uh, 
So settle, not good against Spellbreaker, but kind of necessary. Our deck's really good against control. You know, like we want to be facing blue blue decks. The other aggressive decks, not what we want to be facing, because these cards, you know, Gideon, Adanto, Vanguard, Dreadhorde, Invasion, these are cards that are really good um, against like reg against regular removal and stuff, not good against goblin chain whirlers. So this will be a tough one for us to win. So I'm gonna try to go bigger with Lyra Liliana. Hmm. I don't really want Vanguard, Midnight Reaper, Dreadhorde Invasion, Gideon, and Johnny, or Soren. But we can't take all those things out. So what one of those are we taking out? I think Invasion's gotta go. Gosh, the Danto Vanguard's gotta go. Yuck. Alright, maybe not you. Danto Vanguard is the worst. That one's gotta go. What's going on with the deckless command? Why is it like going back? All right, that should help. If the command doesn't update like that, y'all, y'all should tell me. It's our sixth match. It's the first time I've seen somebody say that the the deckless command's wrong, even though you know people do the deckless command every few, like a couple times a, a minute. So I'm sorry about that. My bad. Yeah, the full art things are new. You need to spend uh, gems to purchase the full arts for the for the individual cards. A Ral Steamkin deck. I don't know what that would really. I don't know why. I don't know why you would want Steamkin in, in the Ral deck. I don't know what Steamkin really adds to that deck. Steamkin is a you know card that's at its best whenever you get to pressure a lot with it, with it being a um you know a a two mana creature with a large body. No, the end of season arts you get Wizard's Lightning for being gold. I march into battle as your champion of justice. Or better. And you get... Your light will cleave the darkness. Um, Vrassa's Contempt for being uh, platinum or higher. No, I was not blaming chat. I was just saying, chat, let me know that it's wrong. Do not fear. If it happens friend. again, you know. Look how know. far you have come. I believe in you, friend. Looks like they went on a. Like they have a control. A control hand. That's good for Gideon. No, you can't crack full arts opening boosters. It's just, you just like, like the full art is basically um, just having, you like pay gems to unlock Strength the art basically. You still have to own the cards. So it's just. I believe in you. 
You just get like the the art for the cards. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't release art with the expansion. I was pretty sad with that, too. Like, Liliana is the only card from the new set. They did add more cards from the new set. Darkness be gone. Uh, or they, they added old card. They added Deliver more cards from the old victory. sets for full art. Including Dragon Skull Summit. There's two of the the dual lands they did not have before Dragon Skull Summit and Hinterland Harbor, and they added in Dragon Skull Summit and other cards, but they still didn't add in Hinterland Harbor. So Hinterland Harbor still does not have the full art, and that's There is a peaceful solution. I surrender. Be strong. Yeah, invasion's a little slow. <laughs> Peace remains an option. We are so close to winning, but not quite. Not quite yet. Oh, okay, it's not Lava Coil, at least. Gives me a flyer, so that's good. I will lend you my strength. All right, Oath of Kaya for the win. Good old le lethal Oath of Kaya. Now can we win? Another game on the draw. It's not very likely. Not very likely at all. But we're going to try. I forgot we have Lyra and Liliana in our decks. Those, those cards can certainly win. Got to survive for those. Three mana lightning helix. Yeah, I, I should probably be playing duress on the draw. Yeah, I should probably be playing duress over dreadhorde invasion. I like that. I agree. They got a lot of spells that we get to take with duress. Mulligan. When he lands. Does Sparks good against Phoenix? I don't know if there's anything else in their deck that it does anything against besides Rekindling Phoenix. But it is certainly great against Rekindling Phoenix. That's the regular deck if you want all the decks, it's decks. There's you know, a lot of people doing the exclamation point deck and decks and stuff, and so it doesn't always 
come through. I want to save cast down for a chain whirler. I'm not going to cast down the harpooner because we can trade with harpooner a lot easier with a banalia. That's not good. Don't have much of the plan for that Phoenix yet. Can I have that lav lava coil? I would like a lava coil, please. Jeez. All lava coils all day over here. Guess I'm gonna cast down this here Phoenix. Leer Dawnbringer, be a great card for us to draw. Or just, you know, another removal spell for this O1 would work too. Removal spell. Ooh. I was planning on just playing the Black Blade and giving the 4 3 lifelink. Uh, that was my plan, and just, you know, gaining 4 and having the Phoenix start attacking the Black Blade, but, you know, not, not hitting us kind of thing. Hawkeye's all happy about that that play. Aren't you? Yeah. Chain Whirler. Those are two really good cards for our opponent to have left. I don't know why they didn't play one of the, I guess, so they had Harpooner still in their hand was their last card last, last turn that was their, their last card when they didn't play something. Cast down is perfect. What a great draw step. We had two great draw steps there. History the and two. Every opportunity. I and to cast down. My strength. There's hope. But they have unclaimed territory to... Try to help cast Chain Whirler. Alright, so I was blocking there, seeing if they had Collision Colossus. I could have seen them having that card, and they would like Colossus the Chain Whirler. Share in my light. To try to go for lethal there. 
All right, go Gideon, go. Go Gideon, go. Oh, another Phoenix. Another Phoenix. Get that out of here. Good triumphs this day. I am here to aid in the assault. Prepare for battle. Get that out of here. Okay, four and two with Orzov midrange. Tough matchup there. I mean, our opponent drew seven lands, which helped, but, you know, we had seven lands also. Uh, our history banalias were great. It, you know, like, a couple of the histories were trading for, like, two lava coils each kind of thing. So history banalia was awesome for us. And, yeah, we had Hawkeye come help us. That's why we won. We had Hawkeye come help us. Good job, Hawkeye. Whoops. So yeah, that was Orzhov midrange. Um, this is the kind of deck that if you if you face a lot of blue control decks and everything, this is a, a good matchup for you for you to be playing. I think. I think this that's what like this deck is trying to do. It's trying to beat those kind of decks. I I like this against even wilderness reclamation decks with having the disparks and mortifies for the reclamations and a pretty fast clock. Um, and Gideon is just really good in those kind of matchups too with the minus six being able to get rid of a reclamation. This time, last time Soren did some stuff for us. This time, not so much. Really not too impressed with the Soren. Usually other, um, other creature aggro decks can be tough. Uh, so... I'm not sure if we need more Lyra Dawnbringers, more Settles in the board. Maybe maybe we're just playing a couple of Lyras in the main instead of Sorens. Maybe. I don't know. Still things to do. Things to try out here with this deck. Um, okay, so that's that's or, that's a Orzov midrange. So if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, uh, one thanks, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you for another, another video. Take care.